Hello, my name is Susan Hitchin. I'm a parent of three children who have all come to this school and my youngest son is, is uh, going through on the end of the, his school run in this school now, which is a bit sad. But um, So 11 years I've been coming here and the very first time I worked, walked into the school in September 2000, uh, I saw the two murals by Patricia Chu that we have in reception here and I was absolutely stunned and thought it was absolutely wonderful that these unique pieces of art were in the school and it, they've been a constant joy to me ever since and the large mural in the dining room which is huge uh, I still look at it and even after 11 years I still see things that I hadn't seen before uh, art after 60 years, which is how old the murals are, of course they've been battered and kicked and pushed by all those generations of children. So uh, my idea was to try to raise the money to get them restored and to get some Perspex protection screens, which is quite hard to say, uh, in front of them um, to try to feel the kicks and things instead of the murals and we're, we're well over halfway now so I hope very much that we can get that project completed. Well there are three murals, uh, one is called The Selfish Giant in reception here at the school and I now know that Patricia Chu used the story that Oscar Wilde had written about it. Um, their, the heritage of them is Eastern European um, I think Grimm's may have written about that and Pushkin and so there's a Russian Eastern European element to the story but the prose of Oscar Wilde's version is just beautiful and this painting uh, the giant is surprised to find the children in his garden who, and where they're not supposed to be and he, so the surprise on his face and the shock and like get those children out of here and the children are just having a ball climbing in the trees and they've got their kites, their little dog, there are birds, butterflies, and great 1950s foliage, lovely colours. Uh, and that's, I, well, I don't know if that's my favourite, but I love that one. And the other one in reception is the story of the magic fish, of the very, very poor fisherman who fishes this golden fish with a crown out of the sea and the fish talks to him and says, please, please put me back in the sea. I will give you anything you want. And the very poor fisherman, as he is, he just doesn't want anything. He's very happy to throw this magic fish back into the sea. But his wife was horrified and she said, go, you go back there, find that fish. I want you to get me this, that and the other. So his very greedy wife uh, had the poor fish give them all manner of wealth and standing in society and of course in the end the fish got fed up with it and they end up again living in their fishing hut by the sea uh, so I suppose a tale of greed and so on uh, but again lovely colours I love the fisherman's face and I love there's a sun in, in the top right hand corner of the mural and at the time of the scene the wife is the queen and so she is sitting in a, a lovely white palace with her crown and her st uh, stave and um, again there's the fisherman with the fish and the fish is quite spectacular and the sea around them and it's it's almost sort of cubish it's very chunky and, and very interesting texture the biggest mural is in the dining room and that's something like 12 feet high by 16 feet across and that is a different colour scheme and it's four scenes from the life of St Nicholas and again um, they were Pushkin tales, they were Eastern European, Armenia, Turkey so the origins of the tales aren't clear but they're very famous tales and in fact, here in this country and Western Europe, we've adopted St Nicholas as our Father Christmas. Um, so he was a very holy man who did good works and, and small miracles.